What is up, all you try-hard gamers? It's been a while. I uh, was taking a long-deserved break from Elite Dangerous after going hardcore for the past year and a half, something like that. Uh, but I've got a really good build for you guys. The name of the game with this build is Sustainability. Uh, that was the theme around this build. Good sustainability and really decent DPS. Okay, so let's look at the optional internals. And I will go over the ship and how how it works, um, and what you can expect from it. So let's look at the op optional internals. Okay, so we've got an 8C biweave shield. Same concept as the last two builds, right? We're going for, for fast recharge. Um, not insane amount of shield strength for a large ship, 1,046. Uh, so you're going to mod this out for... Reinforced shields. Um, if you want to, you can get that all all the way up if you want. And let, let me make a note here. I would actually prefer to to go something like thermal and then fast charge. That's what I would prefer. I just didn't get a chance to do it before I did this video. Uh, but it, it works. It would work really well on this build. So the idea, remember, on the uh, chieftain, it's it's the same concept. It's not. We're not going for for an insane amount of shield strength what we're going for is fast recharge because we're, we're really bulking up um the hull part of the ship okay all right so we've got the repair olympic controller this is why i said this ship is about sustainability when i was putting together the ship i was thinking about being out there you know doing like the threat four threat sixes um, and not having to restock every five minutes, okay? And what we will lack in shields, we will make up for with the Repair Olympic controller uh, so that we could be able to repair while we're in the field, okay? We're not going to have to keep going back from station to station to station. If you're down some hull strength, like 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, all the way 90% hull, you just pop these bad boys out and it repairs your your uh, hull for you uh, and then needless to say the cargo rack and then we've got hull reinforcement packages that are all heavy duty and then you do not want to skip on the module reinforcement packages i've got one 5d here and one 3d here um and then also an auto field maintenance unit because we're expecting our shields to go down um, if they get through the module reinforcement packages, and it's likely to happen if you're uh, fighting, you know, multiple ships at once, which tends to happen in some of those wing missions, we've got this so that you can repair your um, modules out in the the middle of the field. Okay, so that's it for mo the module reinforcement packages. That's it for the optional internals. Core internals, military grade composite. I would go heavy duty or thermal on this. Um, either one is fine. Just make sure your resistances are up there. If not, uh, we've got, I believe this is overcharged. Yeah, it's overcharged. You could go um, armored with this, this thing if you wanted to. And it might be a good idea instead of overcharged. Uh, so that your power plant doesn't get taken out so that's always an option then you got dirty drive tuning with drag drives obviously we've got increased FDS range and then good old charge enhanced uh, power distributor okay that's self-explanatory Utility amounts. Okay, so I've got two shield boosters here. We're not loading up on shield boosters. Um, if you want, you could actually take these off and you could still survive really, really well with this ship without these two shield boosters. I just wanted to uh, to get them on there to see how it was going to work and it works out really well. A chaff launcher for mitigation of damage and then um, kill warrant scanner uh, for the extra credits. Uh, and then you've got your point defense turrets to take out missiles. All multi cannons. This thing is an absolute beast with all multi cannons. Uh, going 
Pool Daka is amazing on this ship because of the sheer amount of hard points, and you want them all overcharged. Uh, and you want incendiary rounds on a few of them, okay? I wouldn't suggest on all of them at all because your ship's going to overheat and you don't need all, all incendiary, just a few, I believe. Let's see, that one... Corrosive shell, definitely. You want that. That's going to increase your DPS. I believe it's just a um, on the three and on the two, I have incendiary runs, and I may have one on the one. Yeah, I have one on the one as well. So this is going to uh, eliminate the need ultimately for uh, beams or, or lasers. Um, so yeah, the rest of them are auto loader overcharged. Um, works really well as you uh, uh, saw or will see depending on how I edit this video. Um, the combat footage. So yeah, works really well and um, it's good to be back and thank you guys so much for the support and have a fantastic afternoon.